And welcome back again. Here's that drone footage from Chief Meteorologist Sean Cable once again showing the current conditions at the Rapidan Dam. And that being said, you can see how fast the water is flowing out there. You can also see on the one side, the river has kind of detoured itself, cutting away at the earth. And that has taken away not just land, but some property as well as some buildings and such that as well. That being said, this water is rushing very fast. Those near this area should use extreme caution and really should avoid going to look at it. The less traffic we can put over there, whether it be foot traffic or car traffic, the better and that will keep everybody safer. Again, we're watching this situation and we'll continue to watch this situation going forwards. Now that being said, I want to take a look at the flood warnings around the area. This is right now in southern Minnesota and northwestern Iowa. This flood warning is going to remain in effect for just a little while longer is it, and is it expected to expire at 10 o'clock this morning. So this is just for right now for the next couple of hours around the area where we're seeing a lot of the, the heavier flooding, especially in northwestern Iowa. Again, this is only in effect until 10 o'clock this morning. Going forward, we're still watching the Minnesota River in the area. The Minnesota River here in Mankato is uh, unfortunately still rising and is not expected to crest until a little bit later today into the afternoon hours. When this portion of the river crests, again, this is the Minnesota River in Mankato. When this portion of the river, river crests, we will be just shy of the major flood stage. And by just shy, I'm talking cresting at 29.7 feet when the current record for the flood here in Mankato sits at 30.1 feet. So again, just shy of that record and just shy of cresting in that major flood stage. Now we're not just keeping a close eye on the Minnesota River in Mankato, but as well as in Henderson. Again, same kind of situation. Unfortunately, the river in Henderson still rising and is not expected to crest until sometime tomorrow morning and afternoon. Again, over the current record crest, which was at 740 feet. By the time the Minnesota River in Henderson crests sometime tomorrow, it will crest is, or I should say projected to crest at 740.5 feet. Again, this will be the new historic record crest should we see it crest at 740.5 feet. The good news is whenever the river crests, whether it's here in Mankato or Henderson, that means we have plateaued and that water will start receding and those levels will start going down as early as Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of this coming weekend. Now let's take a look at some positives, and that is a beautiful start to the day today. We need to take advantage and sometimes just stop, you know, the typical saying, stop and smell the roses. I know it's devastating, it's catastrophic. We're dealing with a lot, but together as a community, whether you're in one community or helping out in a community that you don't live in, we're gonna come together and get through this. But in that same breath, we need to take a moment to just pause and reflect on the positives that we have around us. Are your friends and family safe? Are they in higher grounds? Are your pets safe? Take a second to just take, a, take in the, the morning sunrise and just breathe for a few seconds. We will get through this together. The good news is we're seeing rather quiet conditions. This is showing a little bit of some light showers kind of popping up in the area out to the west of us. But again, most of that is going to be very, very light in just a couple of sprinkles. Temperatures in the mid 70s, not too bad, not too hot. We've got a little bit of a breeze around the area, but not everybody seeing that breeze as winds are ranging between five and 15 miles an hour out of the north northwest. Taking a look at the future cast, with a little bit of passing cloud coverage because of the moisture out there, we could end up having some sprinkles develop through the afternoon hours and especially tonight into tomorrow morning again some light sprinkles. But that being said, we're really not looking at accumulation. However, even light sprinkles that still rain adding to the flood water. So typically we don't really care about light sprinkles, but in these situations we have to care about those light sprinkles. 83 for the high today, a little humid out there dropping too low, 63 degrees by tomorrow morning. Here's a look at your extended forecast dry or relatively dry, I should say, other than some sprinkle chances today and tomorrow, but showers and thunderstorms returning Thursday afternoon and evening, continuing into and throughout Friday. Of course, we're going to watch that very closely as that it will alter the flood ongoing flooding situation around the area. We've got more rain chances through early next week possible. Stay tuned. We'll be back after the break.